just quickly at the start here, people, as has been a common trend for me lately, I'm making a build and I'm like, I'm sure someone has already done this. I finish it, I record the commentary, and then I look at YouTube, I'm like, Super Auto Pet Starfish, Metabrusque already did this, Metabrusque already did this. Uh, so obviously that's where the idea was in my brain. Uh, his link will be in the description, show him some love. Uh, my videos are slightly different, so anyway, enjoy. Hello gamers, we are jumping straight in today. Uh, and today's all about the starfish. So you know how the star pack revamp happened? And then in that revamp, a starfish rework happened. The starfish used to just be a buy seller's delight. They kept it as a buy sell, but it only works with level three friends. So in star pack itself, in versus, I almost build my entire mid game strategy around trying to maximize it. It's just the most effective way to use it. So the thought was, what if we just get it completely busted in customs? And think about it. What's an easy way to get level 3 pets? Now look, I, I'm, I'm so scattered at the moment that I just have it in my head that somebody else may have already done this. It's possible I had that experience with a grounded video recently. <laughs> Maybe you already know where this is going, but what's the easiest way to get a level 3 pet? Well, as you can see with the beaver right now, it is to build up slowly. And then when the time comes, you get it. But I wanted instant level 3s, and what's something I can peel? You already know the answer, but I'll leave it in suspense in case you don't. And for this strat to work, we need to hit a big pivot. So saving lives right now is essential. You know what else I've learned from playing Star Pack Versus? Just having an onboard turtle, just chucking that little 2-5 turtle somewhere in second or third position, will win you so many games whenever I'm playing turtle pack and I see like a dodo into a turtle or something I'm like oh great I'm losing the next three rounds <laughs> so here I buff my starfish now the starfish exists to buff other units but I'm just like man why don't you take some love I'm not rolling for much they have a melon pop goes your melon we maintain four lives look at my team it's customs turn eight now not the greatest team known to man but we're setting up, and how do I want to maximize this? You know, the elk is beefing up the cell value of the beaver. But to do it the best, I want to level this starfish early and often. I want to get it ginormous. Gigantinormous, that's what we're trying to do. Thank you for the melon, and the memories, and the win! Now we have five wins, four lives. Very good. This is time for a pivot. So what do you do here? The swan was maybe a level 3, but now it's gone. I level my elk. I want as much cell value as possible, and we hit... An orca! You might have been part of my long-term plans, perhaps, question mark. Roll me, just want starfish level. Don't want to sell anything on my board, so blobfish and crow I'm turning down. It's fine, I'll find starfish or chocolate. I will find star... I... This, this next... It has to be the next... Where do I... This one, nut! No? And they give me the double chocolate at the end, so all is forgiven. We probably drop to three lives here. We can expect this. Perhaps, maybe. This guy's gone the... It's a very synergistic team with the attack and the health and the bing and, the... and we go to three health. That's fine. I'm going to level my starfish. Another elk. How interesting. Could even push for the elk level three. And I get the German Shepherd. Now, this is what I want. This is what I need, and I'm like, screw it, dude. We're gonna have so much gold next turn. My beaver is worth 15. After the next battle, it'll be worth 23 or something. I don't even know. A lot, basically. And even though the math is good here, they have a large uh, good boy uh, golden retriever coming in. It's fine, now we've built up. We've got to our pivot point. So how do you do it? I choose to peel the Elk, more cell value for the beaver. What's it worth now? Let's see. I'm sure I look at it. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Ooh, Harpy Eagle. How interesting. Do you sell the turtle? Yeah, we do. And we level into Oyster Harpy Harpy. Now, remember, the Harpy is just the old saber tooth people. So, basically, this, this round I've made the decision. Let me go to one health. In peace. And I'll be okay with it. Now, every level 3 friend I sell that has 10 attack is giving... 3... 3... No, 6-6 six, six worth of stats, I believe. So all of my units other than the starfish will get so much health. We'll have, well, in fact, we'll have a look right here. The Harpy Eagle is a 9-7. 
Now I use my 27 gold. It's a 12, 7. 9, 9! Yeah, it gets 9, 9 worth of stats. Oh my god, suddenly my units are huge. And what do I need? I need to peel an anteater. <laughs> but this is the whole strategy. Now you see it, right? I'm sure you guessed it straight away. When I peel an anteater, the German Shepherd will give it attack and hopefully get it to 10 attack. But what do you know? It's not- the German Shepherd isn't leveled yet. So now I take my stats. Now it's still not giving enough, I need to level it up. There's a pill. Let me level my G Shep. Ah, I'm just gonna rip it, man! I'm just gonna rip it! And you're about to see a stat extravaganza, people. Now I just need to find a pill. I guess you rip some levels. One up on the starfish, there's the pill. Bang! Just take a look at the stat increase to my back three units when I sell this. Ho! Oh, oh, ha! Give me another pill! Give me another one! I could have bought lemon there, I don't. Roll me. Roll me. Pill me! No pill yet, but it's okay, we're patient. Suddenly, just in one or two turns, we have stat exploded, people. Uh, you have a sniping build. Um... Newsflash to everyone, if they don't have like leopards and stuff, we basically can't possibly lose at this point and we're only getting stronger. There's the orca. I decided to one up the harpy and now I just need pills. Could one up like a bunch of things here, but I just want pills. Double chocolate. All right, we have four wins to go. We have, we have all the time in the world. Enter battle. Um, this guy's build is really cool. It's, it's really creative. Just trying to farm uh, Wolverine. The new Wolverine, but uh, unfortunately, like, you've... You, you didn't kill me when you had the chance, Arena, and now I'm just gonna dominate everyone. And even though, like, he's got things going on, it's not even... It's actually not even close. Seven wins. Level up my G-Shep, pill Anteater. Level up my G-Shep, pill Anteaters. Give me the peel, please. Respectfully. Ooh! Gold efficient reverend has logged on. Will we see a close battle? Now surely! Like, uh, I mean, can I just give a little rewind? <laughs> um, I feel like he got good math this battle. And yet it wasn't close! My god, Reverend. Now give me a pill. Freeze the harpy. Unfreeze the orca. Maybe refreeze, maybe? Pill me. Pill me. Pill me! I want pills and anteaters. I'm getting none of them. It's painful. Keep rolling. Limp biscuit style. Peel and Anteater in the same shop. Take a look at the stat buff. My god! That ain't right, dude. I freeze the one up, I guess on the- a one up on an Orca is just unfair. It's actually unfair, I'm already smoking everyone. You have a cute build. Is, is this gonna be close? Wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Oh, it's ridiculous. So now look, I've been in this position a few times and I didn't quite get and I didn't get the anti to peel luck that I wanted. But this time I'm just like I could just bring in this harpy eagle and dominate, but I agreed for the pill and I get it. And now I can look <laughs> Dude, they're all tier six units. Think about that. They're all tier six. German Shepherd, Orca. Uh, Harpy. Can we get another Anteater? Imagine. Dare to dream? We don't get it. So I run a four squad. And is there... You, you would have to come up with the filthiest team of all time to beat what I'm running right here. He's got a German Shepherd of his own. It's a shame mine is significantly better. And as is the theme of the last few battles, it is not close. That is the new starfish absolutely maximized people. Uh, I will stop being a scumbag. I would like to apologize to Grounded. Uh, but you know Flame is loving this. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the new starfish is uh, maybe a little bit busted if you use it correctly. Goodbye.